<clears throat> All right. So now let's let's continue from where we left. Uh, we're we're trying to do the second part. It says uh, the untreated. <coughs> excuse me. The untreated slice E. Okay. Let's go back to my uh, diagram. You know, I drew three tiles that you can see. Let me label them as label. Ni karne ki zarurat C, D, or E. Unko maine label to kar diya tha. Yahan pe upar aapko nazar aa raha hai. Now the untreated slice a uh, slice was E. They're saying the untreated slice E was the control in this investigation. Okay, now you have to understand. Let's talk something about control. Or we'll push be here why this was included. Now we need to understand what a control experiment is and why do we include the control experiment in an investigation? They came. A control experiment, jo hai, that is used for the purpose of comparison. Okay. I mean, as simple as it sounds, it's basically used for comparison. Now you need to understand why do we why do we need to make a comparison? Okay, just be whenever you're doing a scientific investigation and you're trying to prove something. So, for example, listen to me carefully. Let's use an example that we considered already. So, photosynthesis here. We know that there. Are, so, we know that water is essential for photosynthesis. We know chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis. We know carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis, and so on and so forth. So. For example, again, if you're trying to prove the necessity of carbon dioxide, for instance, for photosynthesis, so what do we do? We, I mean, so let me list the conditions. So you have water, you have carbon dioxide, you have light, mm -hmm. and you have chlorophyll. So let's say that these are the conditions that are required for photosynthesis to happen, and we know that all of them have to be present. Even if one of them is absent, photosynthesis will not take place. So, for instance. We're trying to prove that carbon dioxide is important for photosynthesis. So somehow we remove carbon dioxide from our experiment, and once we do that, the final result is that no photosynthesis will take place. Therefore, no starch will be formed, or your starch test negative will come. And I will make a conclusion, and the conclusion will be the following. Listen, listen to me carefully. Since um, And all four conditions are necessary for photosynthesis, and since carbon dioxide was absent, therefore no photosynthesis happened. अब ये ठीक तो है, लेकिन this is not scientifically that correct. What we do is, <clears throat> apart from this setup, I will also set up, and I mean, you call this setup as the experimental setup. जिसमें आपने एक condition को खुद miss किया. There's another setup that you have to do that contains all of the conditions, all of them, ठीक है? और उसको हम कहते हैं control investigation, <clears throat> या control experiment. Now, now when I have the experimental setup and then I have the control setup side by side, control setup में water भी है, carbon dioxide भी है, light भी है, chlorophyll भी है. That means that this will photosynthesize and will produce starch. So If I, on the other hand, I make now the conclusion. Now listen to my con 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 conclusion carefully, and this conclusion is more scientifically good. The conclusion is, since my experimental setup lacked one condition, it did not photosynthesize and did not produce starch. And since the control experiment had all of the conditions, therefore it did photosynthesize. So what I'm doing is. to my conclusion <clears throat> i'm adding a comparison i'm adding a comparison and that comparison is basically giving a stronger feel if you like to my conclusion so i mean the point is that's basically why we're using control experiments and it will each control experiment will vary for different investigations that we're doing it depends ki wo investigation kya hai okay part 3 the banana slice c <clears throat> was placed in a small beaker containing 550 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid okay so let me go back to my diagram that i made they're talking about the banana slice c okay ye jo pehle wale ki hi baat ko kar raha hai theek hai he's talking about so we already knew that they did that they uh, put it in uh, hcl lekin ab yahan pe question hai hame wo bata raha hai ki 50 cm cube mein usne jo hai dala so it says the banana slice c was placed in a small beaker containing 50 cm cube What is 50 cm cube? That's the volume that they they've given us. Okay, of dilute HCl. Name the piece of apparatus you would measure accurately 50 cm cube uh, of dilute hydrochloric acid. I'm sure that your chemistry uh, must have helped you in this. But इसके लिए usually जो हम use करते हैं वो measuring cylinder होता है. 
ठीक है सो बायो के एटीपी के परस्पेक्टिव से भी प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट देर आर यू नीड टू नो द नेम्स ऑफ सम वेरी बेसिक एक्सपेरिमेंटल ऑपरेटर्स ओके फोर्थ पार्ट uh describe how you would safely safely i'm stressing on the fact safely remove banana slice from hydrochloric acid because it's an acid you don't have to put your fingers in so you you use something known as the forceps okay to take that thing out isi tarah aapne agar boil a koi if you placed for example a leaf in a boiling water you don't expect to put your fingers in they will burn so you use forceps okay the next part is describe how you would measure the ph of the surfaces of the banana slice now this is a question that did give candidates many uh, problems and i will i have haven't been reading the examiner reports uh, for the other parts i should have but i mean especially is part ke liye to hum zarur dekhte hain theek hai and at the end mai kuch key messages bhi hain examiner reports mein jo ki aapko dikhaunga that uh, basically you know really <clears throat> matter to this effect okay so let's come back to the question <coughs> sorry okay so the question says describe how would you measure so it's the number one the glossary word is description number one the glossary word is description and the marks are three okay so you need to come up with some good points in order for you to make sure that you're using ph now इसलिए हम यूज करेंगे यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर सोल्यूशन पी एच पेपर भी यूज कर सकते हैं उससे भी आई मीन उसको आप सोल्यूशन फॉर्म में कोई सस्पेंशन फॉर्म में बनाना स्लाइसिस को बना के बट अगेन वी विल यूज यूनिवर्सल यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर ठीक है और यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर का प्रिंसिपल आपको पता है इट्स प्रिंसिपल इज दैट यू ऑब्जर्व कलर चेंज Now, if you look at the marking scheme, color change में उन्होंने change को underline किया है. What that means is <clears throat> that it's the color change that you're observing, and you have to understand in food tests and also in uh, likes of these questions which are giving you color changes. It's देखिए वो आपको बता रहा है कि वो इस color से इस color में convert होगा. So if you're just seeing, if you're just saying observe colors, that doesn't make scientific sense. It has to be color change. Okay, and then of course you will use a chart. You have a standard chart for universal indicator. उस chart को आप use करके देख लेंगे कि simply उसकी क्या pH होगी. I want to read the examiner report for this particular part. Okay, <clears throat> this is part one a five. Okay, uh, look at this this part. In many instances, candidates described measuring the pH of the banana slices using litmus paper, which would not have produced actual pH values. I'm sorry, वो lit में फिल्टर पेपर बोली जा रहा था वो लिटो से पर था सॉरी दैट वाज स्लिप ऑफ टंग अप्लाइंग यूनिवर्सल इंडिकेटर टू द सरफेस ऑफ द बनाना वुड रिजल्ट इन अ कलर दैट कुड बी कंपेयर्ड टू द स्टैंडर्ड पीएच कलर चार्ट एंड दस लीड टू पीएच वैल्यूज अ पीएच मीटर और अ प्रोब कुड बी यूज्ड बट हाउ इट वुड बी यूज्ड शुड आल्सो बी डिस्क्राइब्ड देखें एटीपी के पेपर में बच्चों यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर इज वन थिंग दैट आई वांट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड बी एज मच एज बी एज मच practical as you can yani ki agar main aapse kahun ki aap ek room ka volume kis tarah measure karenge aap theoretically to mujhe bata denge if that room is a cube for instance cube shape you'll say length into breadth into height but if i say be practical uh, you would say that take a measuring tape ek siri leke aaye ek banda siri pakde ek banda length measure kare and and then i would uh, on a paper i would write the length and then i will use a calculator and then take out the answer so that's the practical part of it okay all right the next part very quickly Describe the effect of dilute HCl. Effect this describe करना again gloss the choice of glossary word is very important. Describe the effect of dilute HCl acid by comparing the results for slices C and E. Okay, let's go back to the diagram that I made. C and E. Now C में उसने एसिड डाला था एसिड से निकाल के रखा था E is untreated. Okay, so 
going back to the question, uh, describe the effect of dilute HCl by comparing the results for slices E and slice E. They can slice jo E hai, usme humne upar question mein padha tha. We need to go back to the question, okay? Um, it was third slice E was left untreated on a white tile, theek hai? Or jo uh, one slice hai, ab, ab dekhte hai yaha pe, ke jo color hai, usko kya hua tha? Because why are we looking at the color? Because this is what he's trying to see. Describe the effect of dilute HCl by comparing the results with E, okay? So, of course, uh, these are the results that we can see. Now, we can't see the pH changes. So, of course, it's the color that we have to decide. So, you can see that the color of acid treatment is creamy. It stayed creamy yellow. Okay. But then, what about the other? What about the other? So, coming back to the question once again, describe the effect of dilute HCl by comparing the results for slices C and slice E. C ko treat kiya tha humne HCl ke saath. By treating it with HCl, HCl stopped the banana from turning brown. From turning brown. And aglai question wo pooch rahe, <coughs> suggest a reason <coughs> for the effect of Dilute HCl. We need to go back to the statement of the question. Initially, we have some brainstorming. Ki thi. Ye dekhe zara. I'm going to highlight this for you. Look at this thing. We said that there are chemicals which react with oxygen in the presence of enzymes, and that causes brown the color to change to brown. So, if we are treating this with uh, with a pH uh, uh, with acid, so what is the reason? The reason is that this pH, we know that dilute HCl is 2 pH, so clearly that is causing the enzymes to get denatured. Okay, so that, and again, it's a suggestion, okay, and it's a one mark suggestion. The enzymes, they become denatured. Okay, the next part, B3, state the effect of, now you have to state the effect, you don't need to go into descriptions and explanations. Effect of cutting up slice D into smaller pieces by comparing the results with uh, E. Now, we know that if you do it in smaller pieces, mein so what that does is that basically increases the surface area to volume ratio. But they're saying is that state the effect, we will see what will happen that D turns brown more quickly. D turns brown more quickly. Uh, why is it turning brown more quickly? This is the D is the D. We have a diagram on the top. D ko usne treat nahi kiya with acid. Sla one slice D was placed in white tile and cut into many small pieces. HCl is supposed to stop it from turning brown and that was what was done on C. But on D, no HCl is, uh, it's not being treated with HCl, therefore it's not turning brown. Sorry, it is turning brown. Okay, it's turning brown more quickly because, incre because of increased surface area to volume ratio. I just wanna quickly see what the examiner has to comment about this. Okay, this is B3. Um, okay. Stating the effect of cutting up slice D involves only the observed difference between D and slice that was not cut up, that the pieces turn brown more quickly. Some answers give explanation of why this happened without stating what had happened. This was not the question that was required. Okay. Again, yeah, they can very important about the question ki statement ki thi, state the effect. Okay. Uh, ये reasoning जो मैंने दे दिया ये required नहीं थी ये तो मैंने आपको समझाने के लिए बताया जो नजर आ रहा है वो ये है कि turns brown more quickly okay why quickly because we are trying to look at the rate of the reactions in this question anyhow suggest a reason for this effect okay now you have to suggest a reason and now the reason is there is increased surface area to what you okay okay C part very quickly <clears throat> the students found it difficult to describe their observations in this investigation. Suggest the reason why they found it difficult and an improvement to overcome this. Achha ji, kya difficulty hogi ji unko describe karne mein observations? Uh, hum kya observe kar rahe hain? Color change kar rahe hain? To I mean, color change uh, observe karna aise nahi hota ke one instance it's pale yellow and the other instance it turns brown. I mean, imagine. Uh, peel a banana and sit in front of the banana for the next 10 minutes. Uh, 
आप अगर दस मिनट तक उसको देख रहे हैं मे बी यू कॉन्ट रियली इट्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू ऑब्जर्व द कलर चेंज अनलेस यू आर एक टाइम लैप्स वीडियो है दस मिनट के बाद वो क्लिप दिखा रहा है और दस मिनट से पहले यू कैन क्लियरली सी द डिफरेंस ओके सो इट्स द कलर चेंज ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट इज कलर चेंज ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट इज प्रॉब्लमैटिक दैट कैन बी पोटेंशियली प्रॉब्लमैटिक और इसकी इंप्रूवमेंट हम क्या करेंगे कि मे बी वी कैन रिकॉर्ड इट ओवर लॉन्गर टाइम लॉन्गर टाइम क्यों लॉन्गर टाइम क्योंकि यहाँ पे उन्होंने सिर्फ टाइम क्या दिया हुआ था देखें जरा क्वेश्चन में पहले पांच मिनट के बाद फिर दस मिनट और फिर बीस मिनट के बाद वी कैन स्ट्रेच इट आउट फॉर मे बी वन और टू आवर्स आफ्टर फाइव 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 मिनट्स दैट्स हाउ इट्स गोइंग टू बी ओके द लास्ट थिंग बिफोर वी एंड यूजिंग अ मेथड सिमिलर टू द वन इन दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन डिजाइन एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट टू डिटर्मिन द ऑप्टिम बेस्ट पी फॉर द बनाना टू टर्न ब्राउन 